All right, welcome back folks. What we are going to learn today is how to configure webhooks in Bitbucket in order to trigger a build job that is configured in Jenkins. So this is the use case, right? So whenever developer makes a code change in Bitbucket, we want to instantly kickstart the build job that is configured in Jenkins instantly, right? We don't even want to wait for, uh, you know, 30 minutes or 15 minutes or even two minutes. We want to immediately kickstart the build as soon as the code uh, push is done by uh, the developer, okay? All right, so let's see this in action. So all the documentation, uh, you know, with the screenshots is uh, given detailedly, you know, in my website, which is coachdevops.com, where you can go to search this blog, and then if you enter web books, you should be able to find this page. Okay, so let's quickly run through these steps. Um, so uh, we are going to uh, configure a web books in Bitbucket and we are going to invoke uh, the job in Jenkins, right? So you'll have to make changes in both systems, okay? So these are the changes that are needed in Jenkins, okay? So we're going to do that, uh, you know, uh, so you'll have to um, log into Jenkins and click on manage Jenkins under global security option. Uh, you'll have to um, select this option under uh, matrix based security because we are going to invoke uh, the build job as an anonymous user, right? So you'll have to give this option. Once you provide this option, uh, you can actually go to the build job, whichever the job you want to invoke, and you'll have to click on this option and then provide this token. Once you give this and then save the job, and then go to the Bitbucket, and whichever the repository you have uh, configured uh, in your build job, you will have to go, go to the repository settings and uh, um, uh, go to the web books part and then you know you'll have to provide the URL like this okay it's pretty straightforward so why don't we get started so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to start with uh, Jenkins changes so let's go to Jenkins so this is my Jenkins in fact this is the job I wanted to invoke from uh, Bitbucket okay all right so let's go to manage Jenkins go to configure global security And then under metrics based uh, security. So you'll have to give uh, this uh, permission, right? So under anonymous user, we'll have to give overall as uh, read and then under job build read and workspace. Okay. So anonymous user should be read and then under job, it should be workspace read and build. Okay. And then you also need to uncheck this option as well. Prevent the cross-site request forgery exploits and then apply and save. Okay. And then let's go to the build job. So this is the build job. We wanted to invoke using webhooks. Go to configure. And then go under build triggers. So right now it is configured uh, to um, kickstart using pol SCM, but we don't want that. Rather, we want to kickstart using webhooks. So you'll have to check this option and then give some token. So let's say my uh, token is my token. Let's say this is my token. And uh, apply, save. And then I want to go to um, Bitbucket. This is the job we have configured. So if you actually look here, we are actually checking out code from this URL, right? So which is actually right here. Okay. So you'll have to go to that repository, click on settings, and then click on webhooks. You'll have to click on add webhook, and then you'll have to give some title. I'm gonna say uh, my webhooks, um, you know, Web books. You can give any name. September third. I know. Just give me today's date and then URL. Your URL should be your Jenkins URL. Okay. So your Jenkins URL is nothing but click on your job and then copy this whole URL. Okay. And then go to the URL and then paste the URL. Most importantly, you will have to add build in the end. Okay. And then question mark token equal to and whatever the token we had actually given in the job. I think we have given as my token. 
okay so you just have to copy this this is case sensitive so you'll, you'll have to be very careful and then place that here okay and then i'm going to check this option that's it okay so i'm going to save this so actually our uh, job has been uh, you know i mean our web books has been configured uh, so how do you actually test it so i will actually tell you a shortcut to test this okay so let's click on the v request so this was the web book name right so click on the view request and then you can always copy this url okay copy this url and then um, go to your browser just enter this and then uh, you know enter and if you come back to jenkins just see if your job is invoked wow look at that so basically our job is invoked right so it, it means that we are able to kick start uh, the jenkins job manually right i mean using web books but we are actually kickstarting manually okay but we don't want this way right rather we want to make a code change uh, in um, uh, you know in bitbucket that should actually trigger the job right so you can actually stop this or you can leave it okay anyway this job is done so now i'm going to go to uh, my repository So I think I configured uh, that particular project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and make a small code change. All right. Let's say I'm making a small code change. So I'm going to say that welcome to our web books testing page. And then click on commit so i'm gonna say you know making a small code change to trigger the box okay commit so now i made my code change if you actually go to jenkins look at that see here it is instantly you know uh, kick starting the build job right so yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you actually uh, configure your web books in Bitbucket in order to kickstart your build job that you have configured in Jenkins. All right, folks, thank you for watching. You all have a great day.